and dumplings. Seriously? Yeah, I'm serious. We're making chicken and dumplings today. We're serving chicken and dumplings, dressing, yams, mashed potatoes, green beans, all the trimmings at the Jones house this year. So we're getting a head start. I got the chicken and the broth all tucked away in the freezer, and now we're moving right on to the dumplings. I will roll these out, put them on a cookie sheet between parchment paper. Thanksgiving morning, I'll have my broth boiling, drop those dumplings in, and bada bada bing, we're gonna have dumplings. So, dumplings are a very simple item to make. You only need flour, salt, soda, a bit of water. You put your water in a bowl, like I've, I've got here. Put your salt and soda in there and stir it up. Then you put enough flour to make a, a biscuit-like dough. You can see it almost looks like a roll or a biscuit dough. I've rolled out a sheet very thinly on my freezer paper. It doesn't matter what shape it's in. Uh, the thickness matters. If you like real thick dumplings, leave it a little thicker. But if you like those thin, melt-in-your-mouth dumplings like your grandma used to make, roll it almost as thin as pie crust, but not quite that thin. So we've got it all nicely rolled out. I'm going to take a pizza cutter. I'm going to cut little strips. Again, it does not matter what shape or what size. Just cut them the way you want them. Some are larger than others. Doesn't matter. So you can see that's a pretty simple process. We're going to bring our pan over. I'm just going to lay them out on that parchment paper. And we're going to completely fill that up. So what's hard about that? You can make dumplings. So get busy.